Okay, I'm back. As I said earlier, I'm starting a new segment, and the segment is going to be called Word of the Day. Now, today I chose, it's a word, but it's more of a phrase, and a phrase that has a double, triple meaning. It could mean several things. Look at it. I showed it earlier in the uh, B-roll. It says, validation is for parking. <laughs> what do you think of that? Just take a moment and read that. Please ponder on that for yourself. Validation is for parking. What are you coming up with? What are you coming up with? Does it make you think? Is it making you think things like, okay, why am I waiting for people to validate me? Why am I trying to be like something else? Why do I care so much about so many other people's opinion opposed to my own opinion? Now, I'm going to preach a little bit on this one, okay? This is about a, a two-hour segment on this journey. It ain't two hours. It's going to be, maybe, I can cut it down to probably about three to five minutes. How's that? Is that good? Can you about three to five minutes? Okay, now watch this. That word validation is an interesting word. To me, it has a double meaning. Validation can be good because if it's a good source, if it's someone you admire, someone that esteems you, someone that you could pattern yourself after, someone that has made it as a success at what you're trying to do, they have already done it, but watch this, they did it their way. So the validation could be good. You know, they say we learn from other people's mistakes. That's a cheaper way of going through, right? You don't have to pay for all those mistakes. But in the same notion, the word validation, validation, one day I'm going to break that down syllable by syllables when I have a little more time. But the word validation, validation, pardon me, can also be not so cool of a thing, okay? Sometimes you can sit around, and I'm going to talk about Hollywood on that too in a second. Boy, oh boy, I'm going to be in trouble on that one. But sometimes you can sit around and not get anything done because of that word validation. You know that? You, let me tell you something. This show right here, all of the don'ts I don't have and the needs, as you're watching it right now, you're saying Sharon the shadow, Sharon the better lighting, Sharon the better sound, Sharon the this. Until I get an investor, until the good Lord says, hey, it's time, come on, let me give you a little something to help you out with that. I'm going to use what I got to get where I want to go. And that's what you need to think on the other side of that word validation. You need to use that word validation in a positive sense. You need to not tell yourself, I'm, I'm going to be uh, paralyzed or traumatized or, or handicapped because I don't have things to do what with, so I'm not going to do anything. Remember, validation is for parking. What is validation, for, at least for the parking side? It's a ticket that lets other people know you've paid. That's all it is. It's validation says this car belongs here. So now what if you took that same word and turned around and said, validation is for me. <laughs> I'm going to do this show, the Sharon Moore Show. I'm going to do my project talking to Sam, Sam and Jane and Billy and all of you out there listening. I'm going to do my show and be validated by myself and what I want to do, what God has given me as my dream, as my talent. I'm going to do it my way for myself, for parking, to show that I'm here and to get where I want to go. Now here's the, here's, the other, here's the other fun thing about that. If you can take your vision when it's given to you, or when you receive it, or when you think of it, or dream it, and you can remember what you saw in that dream. Because usually in a dream, in a vision, you don't only see the beginning, you see the end. Am I preaching? Ha! And they went down, and then, ha! See, that's my preaching side, but I ain't gonna preach because I, I know my pastor watching this. But if you could take the word validation for parking and in that vision say, wait a minute, everything it's gonna take me to get started with, I'm gonna remember how this thing is gonna turn out. Because I saw it in the dream. I saw it in the vision, what the ending looks like. I'm gonna tell you how I see the Sharon Moore show towards the end. I see it leaving a legacy of good entertainment, if I may say, if you feel the same, but I don't care what you think. How about that? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> just joking, just joking. I see it being a good entertainment vessel. I see in the long run, I hope they say, you did watch Sammy Davis. I hope also that they say, the show inspired me. The show validated me. Am I preaching? The show gave me the validation to say, hey, listen, 
Let me get up off this bed. Let me get up off this floor, this boohoo and crying. Let me take this piece of dust and this safety pen that I have and go build me Microsoft. You think Steve Jobs and, and, and Bill Gates and any other great inventor started with everything they wanted? Even guys with silver spoons in their mouths, even guys with all the money in the world, they still have things in the beginning that's ugly. That's not enough of what they need. I remember when they was doing the movie Titanic, that director said the technology hasn't even been invented yet for him to do this movie technology. So he had to wait a few years just for the technology to come out. Don't wait for someone to validate you. Validation is for parking. You get it? You got it? You encourage? Get up right now, go start that project, or go pick it up where you left it off at and finish it. Someone out there is going to be blessed. Some young kid is going to say, "How oh, that inspired me. And he's going to take that vision further. We love you. Here at the Sharon Moore Show.